Welcome to part number 18 of Gran Turismo 1. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing the Clubman Cup. So, we're gonna get on our S13Q that we won from the FR Challenge. And, we need to tune this thing up significantly for this event. You've been playing GT Concept lately, it's a short game. That's gonna be on the list for sure. I'm doing every single Gran Turismo, including the spin-offs. So let's go to Nismo. Can we put a turbo on this thing? Yes, we can. Stage 1, that's it? Alright. Gotta work with what we have, right? So we need roughly between 250 to 300 horsepower for this car. You know, 245 is not that bad. Let's drop weight. Yeah, because this, this thing's gonna be underpowered, but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty quick off the line. So I want to say twin clutch. Let's do racing flywheel. Drive shaft is fine. So Haiti maze reverse is difficult. I haven't really tried GT concept. Well, like I said, it's not that common here in the states. So let's do a sports suspension. Soft stabilizers is fine, front and rear. You good at rallying? I'm terrible at rallying, dude. Yeah, let's do brakes. Tires? Let's go with, um... Front hard, rear soft. Semi-racing. So let's take a look at our car real quick. We pumped in a lot of cash into- Oh, that thing's gonna be a rocket. Alright. We should be good for the clubbing cup. And away we go. Okay. So this is our grid. MR2 is on pole. And we're the lightest car in the entire field. We have the least amount of power, but the least amount of weight. And we have a lot of racing parts in our car. So we should be fine for the race. Alright, round number one, Autumn Ring. Oh yeah. This thing feels pretty good. Quick acceleration, quick shifting. I knew the Sylvia would come in handy for one of these races. We're looking good. Damn, the MR2 just got shuffled <laughs> by me, myself, and the Impreza Wagon. We have a pretty good lead over the Impreza. Maybe the other races will be a little bit more difficult, but I feel like Autumn Ring being a shorter track and with the Sylvia being a little bit more agile than the other cars definitely is playing in our favor for the first round. Wow! Okay. He tried going for it there and just beached it <laughs> in turn one.
Yep, he literally just broke his brakes. <laughs> Wait, I think he was playing GD Sport for a minute. Too much racing etiquette. Because I consider racing etiquette and GT Sport to be just dirty driving. Because if that's what they're teaching people, then, you know, that's fine. But we win, regardless. Win at Autumn Ring for the first round, and... Oh, I thought we were going to go off track. That, M that poor MR2 just... So good up front, but then gets shuffled back to fifth place. Maybe this championship is going to be kind of weird for the fight for the championship lead. But whatever. 7,000 credits. And let me save the replay. And let's move on to round number two. So round number two takes place in Clipper Stage Route 5. And let's hope the MR2 doesn't get a bad race again. Because if he has a pretty good finish, that will shake things up for the fight for second. Yeah, you told me. You told me recently. And, uh, yeah, I told you that's pretty badass. You bought them from, like, a second-hand store or, or like a gaming store around your house. Well, so far the MR2 has the lead. What the hell? <laughs> How did our car just get two wheels? How did we get on two wheels there? I mean, GT1 physics after all. It looks like the MR2 is going to finish second because we're going to win this race, obviously. How to pin block on a Silvio 101. Yeah, man, this is, dude, this stream has literally just been like just tips and tricks on dirty driving and driving like Ken Block. It looks like he's gaining on us. Yeah, that's him. It's kind of hard to see. And we win the race. In pretty convincing fashion, too. And... Point standings. We win the championship! We're... Okay. So, we basically go from... The closest points battle in the entire LP to another completely dominating championship win with one round to go. Alright, I'll take it. And move on to the next race. So the final round of Clubman Cup takes place at Trial Mountain, and here we go. So of course, the Prelude is sitting conduct as usual. The FTO, and eh, sorta. Of. Why am I even trying to push these guys? Like we already won the championship, so we can we can afford to lose the race. Man, this car has been really dominant. Might even be OP, honestly. I think I put a little bit too much money into this thing. But I wanted to ensure victory, that's the thing.
Yeah, we're just walking away from this. There's like no challenge whatsoever. Five second penalty, SR down. The other day I was playing GT2 and checking the cars in the dealership and thought, damn, this game has so many cars you could have your dad's car here. Yeah, literally, dude. Like, I, dude, I've had several of my family members' cars in GT2. Like, I had an uncle who had a Dodge Avenger and he, it was in the game. I had an uncle who had a freaking, um, you know, uh, Celica. It was in there. GT2 had some really creative cars. We had some pretty cool cars that unfortunately never made it past the second game. Went to Renault and found the old Laguna my dad had back in the day. Dude, the Laguna is such a cool car. I freaking love that car. Especially that BTCC livery on it. Oh my god. the chicane for the final time and we pretty much sweep the whole championship no contest win the championship by over 13 points So 20,000 credits for our bonus, and a brand new car. The racing modification rem reminded me of the day I was a three-year-old playing Toka 2. I still need to play the Toka games, dude. But here we are in Grand Turismo 1, and our prize car for winning Clubman Cup is... Camaro! Nice! 30th anniversary Camaro to be exact. That's pretty sweet. I like it. That's like the only car that I, well, apart from the TRD 3000 GT, the, one of the only cars I can actually read because it's the full name is in English. <laughs> but, well, the CRX as well, I guess. And the concept car, actually. All right. So that takes care of the Club Mink. That takes care of the Club Mink Cup. Next up on the list is, I don't know. As usual, I don't really know what's next. Stay tuned for that, though.